a Sabbath keeper. Moses to tell the people there are certain animals you don't eat. I want you to eat these kind of animals and don't eat these kind. You shall not eat those that don't chew the that don't chew the cud and divide the hoof. The camel, and he goes on and mentions a bunch of the animals, the coney, the hare, the swine, you know, the pig, don't eat pig. Of their flesh you shall not eat, or their carcass you shall not touch. They are unclean unto you. Now in Acts chapter 11, interesting, in Leviticus 11, God gave laws to the Jews. Don't eat certain things. In Acts chapter 11, Peter, laying there, sees a big sheet come down out of heaven three times, a great sheet with all kinds of animals in it. And the angel says, Arise, Peter. See so right here. Arise, Peter, slay and eat. He said, Oh, not so, Lord. Nothing common or unclean hath at any time entered into my mouth. I don't eat pigs. Must have been a pig in there. I don't eat bacon. And the voice answered me, What God hath cleansed, that call not thou common. So starting right here with this vision to Peter, God is saying, it's okay, you can eat anything. Here's what happened. From Adam up until the time of Moses, everybody was supposed to eat, or until the Noah, everybody was supposed to eat plants. When they got off the ark, God told Noah, Genesis chapter 9, now you can eat anything. Anything. Later, God told Moses, tell the Jews to eat clean animals only. This was for the Jews. Never was for the rest of the world. And I see people today trying to pretend like they're Jews, by not eating, you know, pig, some pig meat or something. And they think they're holier than thou. They're, it's amazing. Then the vision with Paul said, okay, now you can eat anything. So for this 2,000-year period, you can eat anything. Now later, during the 1,000-year kingdom, I think he's going to put restrictions on the diet, like probably back to Garden of Eden, plants only. celebrate Christmas. Well, Jesus was born. That's obvious. I think it's okay to celebrate that. Pick a date. I mean, if you don't know your birthday, some, some orphans don't know what their birthday is. Well, pick a date. Write it on the calendar and call that your birthday. You were born, obviously, or you wouldn't be here talking about it. Secondly, no one knows when, but probably born in the spring. That's the best guess. December 25th was a pagan holiday for the sun god. No question. I don't argue about that. Not one person in 10,000 knows about this or cares. Doesn't matter. Okay. Most people who celebrate Christmas are thinking about Christ. I, don't, I guess I don't see a big problem with that. That's not the battle God has called me to fight. I have other things to fight besides you know, the pagan holidays. Okay. It makes, if it makes a weaker brother be offended, okay, well then don't in their presence, okay? I wouldn't do it near a weaker brother. Oh, he offends you for Christmas? Okay, well then let's talk about something else. But if I want to give somebody a present on Christmas and say praise the Lord and Merry Christmas, I don't, I, I don't see a problem with that. Go for it, okay? Sinner. Yep. That's what they're for. 
The law doesn't justify you. It shows you you're a sinner. It gives you knowledge of sin. Wow, I'm guilty. That's all the law can do. The law cannot bring anyone to Christ. Salvation has to be easy or stupid people couldn't get it. 